what up guys, Andy Lupe here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at a script from Exceldro. This one is actually quite old, but I've never covered it on the channel. So imagine you've got multiple sources, and you just want to change between camera angles, as you're seeing here. But if you was doing that normally, you'd, you'd have multiple of them on at once, but this one automatically turns off the other sources within that scene or group. If you guys want to learn how I did that, then just stay tuned. Let's get right into it, put your rock over the stone. Right, so the first thing we need to do is head on over to the OBS website just here. The link is in the description down below and download this Source Toggler uh, OBS LUA script. So just click in the top right hand corner and press download. It's a super tiny file. It'll take a couple of seconds to, to download. Make sure to leave Exceldro a rating as well because he makes the best OBS plugins ever. Jump into OBS and as you can see, without this plugin on, I, when I turn these on, I have to turn them all on. I can't just automatically turn one on off afterwards. So if I wanted to just turn, say, say if I have webcam four on and I want to go to webcam one, I turn it on, you can't see it because I have to turn webcam four off. This automatically does that for you. So you've got options here. You can install this from anywhere, but personally, I like to jump into the downloads folder and put it where the rest of the scripts are on OBS. So I'm just gonna copy this file first. So we're just gonna hit copy, and then we're gonna navigate to where your OBS folder is. So mine's in C drive, and then program files. Yours might be in program files 86. So program files, and then OBS-studio, all lowercase. Then we're gonna jump into data, and then into OBS plugins, and then we should see one in here that is front end tools, as you can see just there. Then into scripts, and you'll see all your different LUA scripts in here. So I'm just gonna right click and paste that script directly into there. It's gonna ask for admin privileges and all that, that's fine. It'll just save you having to search for the file, and if you move it ever from downloads or anything like that, OBS will know what it's doing. Next up, we need to head into OBS, go up to tools, go down to scripts, and then you can see all the loaded scripts just here. We're gonna press the plus sign, and this will now bring up this window of all the scripts so we can use the source toggler. So we're gonna double click that, and it'll bring up this menu just here. So toggle between source is visible in a scene. So we're gonna press the plus sign just here, and it's gonna ask us to type in the scene or group. So we need to actually use the name of the scene that you can see down here. So the scene is cameras, just like that. So I'm gonna type that in exactly the same. So camera including the apostrophe S. So whatever your scene or group is, you need to type that in. Press close and it's all ready to go. If I start pressing some of these, you can see the automatically turn on and off, as you can see from the visibility uh, little eyes just here. So we could do that in a group as well. So if I was to select all of these together, right click and group selected items. So I'm gonna rename this webcam group webcam group just like so and now it the the kind of thing doesn't work as you can see it's kind of broke the link so we need to go to tools again head up to scripts and then inside of here I can delete this previous one now but if I press the plus sign I'm gonna type in the group name which was webcam group as we wrote down previously press close and now when I start using this it automatically works. So that could be inside any scene, as long as you've got the webcam group name, it'll automatically switch between different sources. So this is kind of great if you if you wanted to change between multiple screens or webcam angles or anything like that. It just means that you'll never have the same two that are in that group or scene active at the same time. So it makes switching so much easier if you're using something like uh, Leoran board, touch portal, Biku bar, all that sort of stuff, toggling scene sources on and off. You don't have to create a function to turn it this one off, turn this one on. You literally just say, turn this one on and it'll turn the others off automatically for you. It's really useful tool. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to that plugin. But if you guys need any help or anything, let me know in the comment section below and join the Discord, all that jazz. If you want to support me, these videos take a while to create. Jump over a Patreon or become a channel member on here. The Patreon members do get early access to videos. That's pretty much all there is. Put your rock over the stone. See you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.